Hello, it's Brigham, and today on the Friday Forge, I'll show you an inexpensive but effective option for putting a spray finish on your projects. All the tools I'm talking about today will be linked in the description, so go ahead and head there for that. So I worked at a cabinet shop for a bit and used some really nice equipment for finishing cabinets. When I left, I really missed the convenience of using the quality tools that they had there. One of the HVLP guns in particular was a favorite of mine, mainly because setup and cleanup were so easy in relative terms. And speaking with the owner, he told me he paid over $400 for it, so I dismissed any ideas of ever getting a similar setup. Fast forward to just a few months ago, I was browsing around on Harbor Freight's website, as one does, and I came across all the necessary components to recreate the same setup that I had used at that shop, admittedly using lesser quality tools. But I was able to buy everything I needed for just under $60. So let me show you what I got and how I set it up. First and foremost, obviously you'll need an air compressor. This is not included in the stuff I got for under $60 since I already had one. If you do not have one, Harbor Freight has a few to pick from. Depending on the size of the things you are spraying, in other words, how much air you'll be expending without a rest, you could most likely get away with buying the 6 gallon 2.8 CFM compressor for $130. I know that's not exactly pocket change, but you need something that can keep up with how much you're spraying. Greg will be buying one of these this weekend for spraying the finish on his chess boards. So at that point, I'll give a more definitive statement on how well it works for that kind of application. Next is the gun. I bought this central pneumatic 20 ounce HVLP spray gun with a regulator, mainly because it's the cheapest gun they have with a regulator. You don't necessarily have to have a regulator since there's one on your compressor, but I prefer both. Having the regulator right there on the gun means I can make small adjustments as needed while I'm spraying. This allows me to really dial it in easily. Another thing this does for me is allow me to set the regulator on my air compressor pretty high so that the compressor kicks in when just a small amount of air gets used. That way the compressor isn't waiting until the PSI gets to 20 or so, which is about where I set the PSI for the gun, before it decides to start filling up again. This next piece of the setup is really what makes it for me. It's the same sort of setup I had at the cabinet shop, and when I found it at Harbor Freight, I was thrilled, probably more than I should have been for something so simple. Throw away the cup that comes with this gun because it's garbage and you don't want to spend all your time cleaning it out. This starter kit, on the other hand, has a cup with disposable liners and lids. It's even got a cap that you can use to store leftover paint. And depending on your paint, you could store it for a while. I left some pre-catalyzed lacquer in it for three days and was able to use it again. The icing on the cake is that these lids come with a filter built in that filters your paint as it's being fed into your gun. This eliminates the need to filter your paint before pouring it into your cup and it makes for much easier cleanup because you only have to worry about cleaning the small section of your gun between the cup and the tip. And you just throw away the liner and lid. Now the thing that makes it possible for you to connect this cup and liner system to your gun is this adapter here. It fits right onto the top of the gun where the old cup would go. I used thread seal tape, but it would probably be fine without it. I just like to be sure. One more thing I wanted to mention before we move on is this spray cleaner. It makes cleanup much easier in my opinion. Not the cheapest thing and it runs out quick, but I'll buy it every time I use this gun. That being said, I also keep a can of plain old lacquer thinner on hand for cleanup as well. At this point, it's pretty simple. Put the liner in the cup, paint in the liner, and the lid on. Attach it to the gun, 
by pressing the gun down on the clips, then rotating it until the clips are holding it securely. You can see that the finish is very smooth. This is a pre-catalyzed lacquer I'm spraying here, by the way. I would venture to say that the end result is comparable to the over $400 setup I used at the cabinet shop. If there's anything to be concerned about here, I could honestly see the gun biting the dust at some point. But if that happens, it's a $15 purchase for a replacement spray gun. I'm okay with that price point. Thank you for watching. If you have something to add to this, leave a comment. Or if you have any questions, please ask them. Thanks again.